No, it's leaking! Ugh. Hey, Baybats! I'm back, and today, because clearly I like to punish myself, we're gonna be checking out the LOL Surprise DIY Glitter Factory. Yay! Here's the front of our box. It says, LOL Surprise DIY Glitter Factory. Woo! I'm so exclusive. Find me inside. This is one set. It's going to contain glitter and fuzz, and we can see all eight of those little pots right along the package. So we have blue, black, gold, and a bright magenta pink glitter. In fuzz form, we have black, blue, light, pink and dark pink. Right away I'm gonna say I feel as though we could have had a much broader color selection. Glitter, not that expensive. You could buy it at the dollar store. I feel like we should have had more options. Just throwing that out there. And then off to the side we've got this panel showing the whole makeover process. They show us the before and the after, which I think is really ugly, but I mean mine's not gonna be much better, so fair enough. So you glitterize that doll, you design it again and again, and then they've displayed it. Right in the center of the package you can see a big clear ball with a cutout of a doll in it. This is going to be the cool apparatus that suspends our doll while the glitter swirls all around making our own custom. On this side of the box we see a pet as a before and an after so it looks like they've customized it which is cool. You can make your own pet. On this side of the box we can see a mannequin sporting a headband and some boots and this little doll down here letting us know that we can change the accessories, hence the photos. <laughs> I will admit that I'm a fan of altering the accessories. Sometimes you get so many and you're like wow this would have been really cute if it was sparkly. I don't say that but some people do. On the back of the box we can see the stuff that we're going to get inside. So we're going to get five face masks, an exclusive doll, some brushes, the display which also holds the apparatus that glitterizes. We're going to get that fuzz and that glitter that I already pointed out. We'll get the mannequin and we'll get some glue. Woohoo! I love makeovers. Time to open. Let's get this glitter mess started. That's a really cute box. It looks like a little makeup case colored in pink lines and stickers, like luggage. Look, that one's a little camera. That's not gonna work. Ow! Ah! It's not easy to pull out because these stick through the top, which means you gotta push, I don't know what I'm saying. Oop. Ah! Oh my goodness, this is kind of crazy. Ow. All right, guess we're not keeping this box. Holy! You'd think I could have just pulled this out down here and it would have let go, but no, because it was stuck inside the bottom of that one. Like that. That was a bit ridiculous. <gasps> Let's hope the rest is a bit better. I'm an adult and that was difficult for me. This box here is literally just holding the ball and the little fuzz and glitter pots. This reminds me of a baby toy. This is actually almost more fun. I just want to play with this. <laughs> but that's not why you're here. So let's put that over there and open up our fuzz pots. Here's the black, light blue, light pink, and a bit of a darker pink. And these ones are the glitter. Bright magenta pink, gold, black, but it actually looks like galaxy because it's black and a bunch of other colors. No, it's leaking! Ugh. Oh, gross. And then this nice bluish green aqua color. Yeah, I just described three different colors. Go with it. And this is our pedestal. This is where we're gonna put all the glitters and the pots. This is where we can display the dolls, put the brushes, and of course, attach our super cool Jurassic World gyro ball. Whatever. <laughs> it's really Really cool. Before I continue, I'm just gonna let you guys know I don't hate glitter. I like the look of it. It's very pretty, very shiny. What I don't like is it getting on my body or any work surface because once it's everywhere, it's literally everywhere. It's so impossible to clean it up fully, even with wet cloth, dry cloth, static cling wipes, anything like that. It's just ugh. And I'll put some glitter over here, fuzz over here. And look at that. We're setting up our workspace. Do you think Jen was smart enough to take the plastic off the ball? <laughs> nope. <laughs> There we go. Now we're set up. We've got all of our fuzz and our glitter pots and our pedestal and now it's time to open up our box. I'm going to be 100% honest and say because I'm human I messed up. I actually already filmed this and I forgot to turn on the volume. So I'm really sorry but everything inside this box is already opened and it was a bunch of blind bags so now we're gonna have to look at them one by one. But just so that you don't feel cheated out of a good old-fashioned crinkle, here it is to satisfy your needs. 
All right, let's see what's inside. First things first, I forgot to put this back in the box. So here are our contents and instructions. So everything that comes inside is inside this box and there's no point in reading it and then show it to you. So I'm just going to show them to you. First up, we have two bottles of glue that look like little hairsprays. The first is teal, the other is pink. And I know I love teal and I say everything is teal, but even the instructions say it is. These are very specific glues. The teal is to be used for glitter application and the pink is for the fuzz. Do not confuse the two. Next up is our mannequin. She is all gold and she's basically like a robotic, smooth alien version of an LOL doll. And we can use her to hold our outfits or to try them out, anything like that. I do already have the boots on her. They're a blank canvas, perfect for decorating. So they are just white platform boots. And in order to display any doll, or in this case a mannequin, you must have shoes on it so that it fits in the spot on the platform. Next up is our cup and it's one of the soda can ones, also blank. Everything that I'm gonna show you is blank because we're gonna decorate them. It's also going to be a little difficult to see all the details on them because they're white. Here's our first skirt and it's basically Faname's skirt or anyone else who has this exact skirt. And there is a teeny tiny zipper in the front. Our first top is a tied up dress shirt with a small coat over it. Think oops baby. We have a tied bandana headband just like Dawn. Our second top is a coat with a fur lined collar and sleeves. And lastly we have a denim skirt. Next up we have three applicators. One is a bristle brush, the other is a fuzzy fine tip, and lastly a sponge tip. They're all rose gold with a pink nozzle at the top, much like the top of the hairspray cans. And these fit the aesthetic of the playset, but also allow the brushes to stand upright snugly on the playset. We also get a small bristle brush with a gold handle, and it fits right in the back there. And then we get face masks. They all have cucumber eyes. We have orange, blue, purple, a minty blue color. I don't want to say teal for everything. <laughs> and then pink. We're going to use these masks to cover the doll's face. That way no glue, fuzz, or glitter attaches to her. I think it's kind of funny that we get such a good variety of colors for the face masks, but not for the glitter or fuzz. Next up, we have our doll, and she's actually pretty cute. She's got a nice golden brown skin tone, which is actually a pretty good choice because the colors they have given us for glitter and fuzz are really going to stand out on the accessories once we put them on her. Her makeup is actually not not all that bad. There's a little bit coming off of her mascara into her artistic eyeshadow and her hair is plain white, the perfect blank canvas to customize. She's also got white lipstick, so I guess we can do that too. Now a quick side note is that she does not have holes in her eyes, so she's not going to cry. And when I squeezed her, I could feel the air pushing on my hand, so I know that she's going to be a peer. But if you are going to feed her any water, you're going to have to do that before you customize because all that washes off once it's in water. That's how we have the ability to redo it over and over. And the very last thing that came in the box is the sticker. This is Makeover Babe. As you can tell, she is very blank, perfect for customizing. And she's surrounded by snapshots of herself. It's a little look at things you might want to try out. And because I've always loved the effort that LOL puts into their packaging, I'm going to say that this is a really cute way to store everything. It looks like a makeup case covered in stickers. Too bad it wasn't real. Like if that was actually a usable small storage case to put everything in, that would be great. Especially since not everything fits on the actual platform. Just the little tubs of glitter and fuzz and the dolls, which definitely need to have shoes on in order to do it. Oh, and then the makeup brushes. Everything else, you kind of just have to put there. So I recommend picking up a cute little storage box so that you don't lose any of your accessories or your face masks. And now we can start customizing. What we're gonna do is unlock the top of the dome to remove all the confetti and the cutout of the doll. Ta-da! And I've removed everything in the front because it's kind of in the way. All we have to do is take whatever we're customizing, in this case, the doll, and stick her snugly in the center. In this position, we'll be able to apply our very specific specific glues and then attach our domes that have either the fuzz or the glitter in the bottom. Then we'll start spinning the dome and boom, it'll stick to her. If it's accessories that you want to customize, you will attach them onto the little hooks on the side. That way they stay still when the glitter is going around just like the doll. The instructions don't say how you would customize a pet since they're a different shape, but I think you would just stick out the legs as much as you could and fit into the middle. Let's follow this step by step. First step is to take our dome, place it on a flat surface and add our fuzz or glitter. I I am going to go with blue fuzz. I'm just gonna add a bit. Step two, get your doll and pro tip, attach a face mask so that glue does not ruin her makeup. She looks fabulous. <laughs> I'm gonna put the face mask upside down because it's wider up there, which makes more sense with her hair. Boom, she's got an upside down face. And now we're going to place the doll into the holder. Okie dokie. Woo, it's like a really weird hula hoop. Then we're going to get our glue and an applicator. Since I've chosen to do fuzz, I need to use the pink glue, but it would have been handy if I remembered to open it. 
There we go. So get yourself your glue, remove the cap, and get yourself your applicator. And now all you do is paint on the glue. I'll do some blue fuzz on one side and some pink on the other. Now I don't know how much glue this is going to take, but I've chosen to do a thin coat because it says you'll have to let it dry for two hours before you can do any touch-ups. The thicker the coat of glue is, the longer it needs to dry. My layer is on. Not that you can see anything. Make sure you wash these off when you're done. <laughs> you don't want them to harden on you. Now we replace it in the thingy. Next, we reattach this. I don't remember how though. It says to put it in the notches, but there are no notches. Oh, that's because that's not the bottom. Okay, I put it in the wrong one. I thought that was the bottom and that's the top. So now I've transferred the fuzz into the correct bottom. Now it's time to put this piece in and then we'll put the lid on and then lock it with the hearts. There we go. Step four, replace the dome into the playset, making sure to push these all the way down. Very simple. We can place the holder in this position or we can do it this way for better coverage of glitter or fuzz. And now step six, we just spin the dome and get that fuzz all moving around. I'm gonna move these so we can see it a bit better. I may not have put enough in, but here we go. Don't spin it fast. If you spin it fast, it all just moves with the ball. Like when you whip a bucket around and around and no water comes out. I did not put enough. Ah, learn from my mistakes. Here, I'll add some more. Don't be a gen. Pour in like half and go. No matter how slow I go on this, to be honest, it's just kind of following the inner circumference of the ball. Very little is actually falling onto my doll's head. Now, you can only do this one layer at a time, so I'm gonna open this up, dump out my fuzz onto a piece of paper so that I can put it back in my container, and then I'm going to apply some more glue and do the opposite side, but I'll show you what it looks like so far. This is the side that I put the pink glue on, and remember, the pink glue is the correct one to use for the fuzz, so a whole bunch has stuck on here here, which is fine. We can just brush it off. So what I'm going to do now is take the teal glue and apply it wherever I want the glitter to stick and then I will add glitter to the ball. I would recommend that you add any accessories that you want to glitterize or fuzz at the same time that you're doing your doll because once all the different layers are done, you have to let it wait two hours to dry. So if you wanted more than one area of this to be fuzzy blue, you would have done all those at the same time. Then you clean it out, do the next side or the next areas. You get the idea. I've got my fine tip applied applicator now and that's what I'm using to put on the teal glue which is a lot thicker. I want to get in all these grooves. I finished putting glue on my doll's head and I also went ahead and put that same glue on her skirt, the plain one. Now I'm gonna add my pink magenta glitter in and give her a roll. I feel like it'd be more productive to just pour it over her head. It's landing everywhere that the glue is not. See in a few. The glitter is getting everywhere. Pretty sure I got all the coverage I am going to get. So I'm going to clean this out, put the remaining glitter back in the container, and then go in one more time with a different color on another accessory. Okay guys, it's been two hours and I am pretty excited to show you my amazing doll. The transformation is literally unreal. If you remember, we had a doll that looked very plain and boring, just like this one, except I never dressed her. And we should have something that looks amazing like this. Now, I did say that I thought this was a very ugly customization and that mine would probably not be much better, but I was wrong because mine is incredible. And before I show her to you, I'm just going to show you a few other examples that we were shown. Very, very nice. And now it's time for my big reveal. Bam! <laughs> Okay, I didn't dress her yet because I need you to see this firsthand. It's been two hours. I let everything dry completely and this was just a first coat. Before you say, hey, it looks terrible, but don't worry because you can do another layer. I get that. But this took forever to individually glue, shake on, roll, glue, shake on, and roll after cleaning out the ball and then also doing it for all of these. You have to have some extreme patience. And as an adult, I was lacking that and getting very frustrated. So good luck with your children. They might be way better with their patience and handling that time than I am, but I'm just saying the majority of kids will not be. Anyways, so in addition to my lovely doll here who has not been unmasked yet, I also made a magenta skirt and I coated this in glue and shook it all over and still it did not stick to it. I also made some galaxy boots which appear to be suffering the same fate. I also made a super awesome pop can cup. I know, it's beautiful. And then I made a very fuzzy pink almost white bandana headband. <laughs> 
oh, oh, oh. And this one actually did turn out the best out of everything. I made a black galaxy jacket with a fuzzy pink shirt and collar. Not that you can tell. <laughs> and now it's time to dress my doll. And then I'll remove her mask for the final face reveal. There is glitter all over everything. Oh, it's all coming off. It's flaking off. Like you can see these big chunks. I like the idea of this toy. I actually do. It's just a shame that it's not working out very well. Okay, that looks pretty great. Why is it not fitting? Okay, got it. Oh, more came off. Ah! Uh, it jumped out of my hand. Ow. <laughs> There you go, guys. There we go. Got it on. Oh, what just flaked off? My fuzz. No. Oh, she's looking so good. She is looking amazing. And now it's time for her headband because we don't want to miss that. That fuzzy pink accent is really going to tie this look together. Okay. That's what's going to make it. Oh, we can actually see a bit of that pink now that it's standing off of her hair. Put all that great glitter stuff away. It doesn't look that bad. Uh don't expect to play with this, okay? She drops, oh my gosh, half her skirt just came off. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, anyways, time for her face reveal. Yeah, girl. If anybody says she ain't fabulous, they are wrong. <laughs> And there's the back of her. Oh, fix that part. So good. Look at that coverage though. That's beautiful. And like I said, we could do more layers, but then we'd have to wait another two hours in between each one. And either way, it is all coming off. As soon as you try to play with her, this is going to be a huge monumental mess. But she does look pretty fabulous, so that mess might be worth it. But is it though? What happened? I thought our doll was gonna look like these. Mine looks nothing like these, and I'll tell you why. These were definitely not made using that. Not a chance. Although, at least this keeps up with the theme that LOL always has of their glitter dolls just flaking off. Well, at least it's gonna be easy enough to wash her since half of it's gone already. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I feel about that. Okay guys, I've checked everything out. Now I'm going to blow your mind. I know you've not heard this before, but I don't like this. It's a waste of money. It takes way too many layers and way too long to dry. The end result does not look anything like the dolls pictured and you do not get a good variety of colors. And let's not forget the joy you feel as all of your hard work falls off the doll when you try to dress or play with it. A lot of you might like this. I say you could have better luck just using tacky glue and glitter at home, pour it on, let it dry, and it will cost you a lot less. The things that I do like about it aren't enough to make me want to ever buy it and give it as a gift for somebody. Like if anyone ever gifted this to one of my children, I would donate it. The things that I liked were the cute little glue bottles, the mannequin, and the little box that everything came in. That's about it. That's all I have to say about this product. And uh, yeah, you guys could go ahead and sound off in the comments letting me know why you disagree with me. I am so ready. <laughs> if you know somebody who enjoys an honest first look at toys, LOL dolls, or crafting, please share this video with them. And if you enjoyed it yourself, then please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can let me know down below everything that you think I did wrong, as well as anything that you agree with or disagree with. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!